Jesus Foundation Family International presents the Spirit of God will begin to deal with you because there are some things you need to let go in your life and the Spirit of God will help you and will take you through it He will deal with you and you will let go and you will have your testimony receive your breakthrough now there's a fire burning in somebody's chest right now strong fire burning upon somebody's there's someone here God is giving you a victory God is giving you testimony immigration breakthrough Somebody is going to get a good job this week. Expect a miracle promotion. It raise an increase in your income. The power of God is upon you. Lord, touch now. Somebody here, the Lord is giving you, I see a crown coming upon your head. It's for marital breakthrough. Receive it. Receive that crown for marital breakthrough. Where is that person? Where is that person? One, two, three. Take it on you now. In the name of Jesus, it's upon you. The Lord has released it upon you, released it mightily. And every problem in your womb is healed right now. Every disease, every sickness, every pain, every growth, I command it to dissolve by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name, we worship. Somebody sit down and say amen. 
Hallelujah. Now we're talking about today, I'll be preaching briefly um, or teaching or as the Lord leads on singles love and, and marriage um, because it's our family and relationship Sunday. Singles love and marriage. The journey to a healthy and successful marriage begins from being a single. Adam was first of all a single. Everybody must be a single before you get married. And the foundation of every marriage lies on the quality of your values and personal development which you have attained through your, during your period of being single. So which is important. So being single is a period of thorough preparation. Praise God. Because I'll be, I'll be drilling, dealing with each of this topic briefly and then talk to also the married people as well. Now, let me first of all talk to the single. You know, for those that are single, um, singlehood is an interesting but challenging phase of life. Um, some might choose to be single throughout their life. People like Paul the Apostle, he was single. And some have come into singlehood through family breakdown or through the death of a spouse. So they found themselves being single praise god but you need to understand that singlehood is a crucial time for definition identity and direction that is the time you define yourself you identify yourself who am i and you get the direction for your life it is a period of discovery personal development and having the definiteness of purpose that's the period so being single, you know, it's so funny that a lot of single people want to marry, while some married people want to come out of being married, they want to be single. So it's about but being single is a wonderful gift that God has given everyone, a time to find yourself, discover who you are, what you are called to do, your purpose in life. So being single doesn't mean you are not whole. You are whole. Praise God. Single, single means to be separate, unique, and whole. Some people think they are not complete because they are single. No, you are whole. And when you go into marriage, you are not completing the person. You are complementing the person. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it's a period of personal development. Personal development when you are being single. It's not the time to, to waste away. It's not the time to be partying. It's not the time to be um, sitting on social media. You know, it's so funny that a lot of people just waste their single period. They do irrelevant things. They never get to discover themselves. And the thing is that if God has given you that time to invest in yourself and you never did, and then it will impact if you get married without dealing with yourself, it will define the quality of your marriage. Because... Um, the quality of your life and the quality of your spouse will determine the quality of your marriage. Praise God. So personal development is very crucial for every single person if you want to have a good marriage. When we talk about personal development, we, we refer to you taking care of yourself, your health, your well-being. You know, watching your weight, watching um, what you eat, making sure that you clean up yourself, you know, um, sleeping properly at the right time, and also not destroying yourself. Some people, during the period of being single, that's when they waste themselves. They take alcohol, 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 alcohol. They take, they smoke, smoke, smoke. They go into things. At the end of the day, you won't have time to develop yourself. Because you just feel that that's the time to smoke and smoke and smoke and to do all sort of the party, party, party. Because every single person now is, ah, Friday, let's go to the club. Let's say that's what it is. But no, that is the time, that's the foundation of your future. Your parents have done their best for you. They've sent you to, to primary, to nursery, primary, um, high school, and then they've sent you to the uni. Now it's not up to you. And then you're wasting yourself. You need to be careful. So you take good care of yourself. Find out yourself. You know, some people don't even know they have body odor. It was when you are single, you find out if you have a body odor, and you find out how to deal with that. Because if you have a body odor, some guys cannot stand it. Some ladies cannot stand it. So if you don't take time to deal with those things, you just realize that men will come and ask you out, and they will run away the next minute. Or ladies will keep saying no to you because you've not taken time to identify yourself, to know what you have in you. So that's the time you care for yourself, get the right kind of soap that we cancel those um, body odor. And some people have mouth odor as well. 
you have to take care of your gums, take care of your teeth, and make yourself look nice. So when you smile and you talk, the person wants to hear you again. Praise God. Not that when you talk, say, okay, okay, all right, okay, okay, I'll see you later. Praise God. Take care of yourself. That is when you do that. Find out the right kind of thing. If you're a lady, the right kind of body lotion and cream that will suit your skin. You understand? That's what you do. You, you have to take care of your skin, take care of your body. Look good, praise God. Somebody shout, look good. That is the time to do that. That is the time to do that. That's not the time not to take care of yourself. If you need to go to the gym, take time, take care of yourself. Be physically fit. You understand? And if you're a lady and God has blessed you with good cause, that's time to keep it in shape so that your husband can see it and be attracted. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. That is your natural endowment that God has given you. Yeah. And that will also attract somebody that's meant to take care of you. Praise God. You take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Praise God. And then number two, you need to develop excellent communication skills. That's the time you know how to talk. You know some guys don't know how to propose to a lady. They don't know how to talk. Somebody was telling me, said, the problem is having with this guy has been asking um, her out. But the problem is he always mixes his tenses. I said, I can't stand it. Oh my God. You need to develop your communication skill. How you talk is important. You get my point. Develop excellent communication. And that comes by you reading your books. Reading good books. Read the Bible. Lie by lie. Read good books. It will help you shape your, how you communicate. Listen to people, good orators. And see how they're able to construct their tenses and build up yourself. Praise God. And also, you can also develop your relationship skills. Because some people, a guy was telling me one time, I said, I see a lot of ladies that I like to marry, but they don't have the kind of personality I want. Tell the kind, kind of personality. So, I, I'm just, I said, how come you are still single to now? There are so many beautiful girls, but they don't have the right personality. They don't know how to relate. They don't have relationship skills. The same thing with some guys. So every opportunity they have with a girl, they would like to run away, to run down the girl, run down the person. That's what they know how to do. Praise God. That is an old school style of getting relationships. You want to get somebody good and solid, you don't run the person down. Praise God. You appreciate that person. Hallelujah. Thirdly, you need to increase your emotional intelligence. You need to increase it by becoming aware of your emotions. What are the things that get you upset? What are the things you don't like? And how does it affect you when you get upset? You need to be able to control yourself. But for you to control yourself, you need to understand yourself. Understand things. If you know that if somebody is doing something that could get you angry and you're getting angry, instead of getting angry, go and get a cup of water. And quench the anger. Praise God. Or go and look for a nice uh, Coca-Cola and take it in. Praise God. And then walk away. You don't need to have an angry outburst. I can't hold it. No, 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 no. I can't take it anymore. No. You've got to be able to control yourself. Increase your emotional intelligence. Be intelligent. Praise God. Also, part of your emotional intelligence, you must know when somebody is trafficking. You know. But make sure that the person is not trafficking in two places. You know, there are some people that are trafficking that are going like this. They turn like this. Praise God. So you have to be emotionally intelligent. If you're a lady, to know if a guy likes you. Or if you, if you know if, a, if you're a guy, you know that a lady is giving you signal. You have to be emotionally intelligent. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's for the singles now. So you can know that, yes, I think that's a great thing. It's not the kind of person I want. If that is not the kind of person you want, just tell the person, no stopping, no parking, just go away. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Increase your emotional intelligence so you can be sensitive to signals, to communication, praise God. Number four, get ready for personal life challenges. Life is full of challenges. You must have the stamina to be able to withstand all these challenges. Life has full of challenges. It's not always going to be, life is full of ups and downs. So you must brace yourself and prepare yourself so you don't break down when these challenges come. Praise God. So you get ready for it. And number five, you need to develop your, in, your intellect, your intellectual uh, capacity. You need to be very intelligent. 
you need to that when you are talking you make sense because if you are a man you must be able to lead your family properly and if you're a woman you must be able to advise your husband such a way that you will not lead him astray or lead him or make him make the wrong decision if you are very intelligent and you understand things you'll be able to you know there are some couples they cannot communicate because maybe the guy is up there the lady doesn't know anything so the guy is looking for somebody to communicate with somebody on the same level and it's not looking for so they start looking for somebody outside that is not good you must be able to match up with your spouse the level of communication develop yourself so that when you are talking you can make comments you can make good sense in your communication praise god some people will say well it's my husband uh, that's my husband no catch up with your husband read up develop yourself you get my point and so you see some people they say my wife is a phd holder me, I'm just a BSO. It doesn't matter. You can read up and even be more intelligent than a PhD holder. Praise God. That shouldn't affect you at all. Develop your intellectual capacity. Number six is you need to recognize your spiritual dimension. What is your spiritual gift? What gift has God given you? What are your talents? Who are you? Your vision, your purpose in life. You must recognize your spiritual dimension which is very good because discovering your spiritual dimension will help you to know the kind of person that should be your wife or that should be your husband. <coughs> you understand? That's why there's a lot of divas in, 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 in the world today because people don't understand themselves. They just say, I love you, I love you, I love the way you look, and then they get married, and then they realize they cannot stand each other because they don't have the same this spiritual dimension. They don't complement. Yes. And then the next thing is everybody walk out. And it's said due to irreconcilable differences. Praise God. You need to understand all these things if you want to have a good home. Now let's talk about love. Love, because I'm talking about singles love and marriage. Let's talk about love. Love is a strong positive emotion of regard and affection. Love is God. God is love. It's, it's strong. It, 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 it flows from your emotion. flows from your spirit. You know, marriage it is instituted on the foundation of love if there's no love there is no marriage that's the truth true love is the core of every successful and healthy marriage that is it true love is the core of every successful and healthy marriage and you know love forgive love forgives sins love does not bear record of evil first corinthians chapter 13 you can see it 1 to 13. you understand true love enhances all around compatibility for marriage you become so compatible because you are quick to forgive because if you want to have a good marriage you must be too good forgivers being able to forgive one another a true love is unconditional first john 3 18 unconditional and you need to understand if you say you love someone you must be ready not to only take 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 you must give love is giving Love is given. Somebody says he loves you and he has never given you a simple card, birthday card. I forgot that it was your birthday. I forgot to send. I mean, you need to understand what kind of relationship is that. True love. You must, you know, you must give if you love someone. For God so loved the world that he gave. His only begotten son. True love is about giving. Giving. And another thing that's an act of love is listening. Listening. You must learn to listen. If you love someone, you listen to what they have to say. Some people don't listen. They say, I don't want to hear what you have to say. All I, mine is final. And then you argue, argue, argue. Because the problem is you don't understand love. Love is listening. Listen to understand. What point are you driving at? Let me understand you. See it from the person's angle, from the person's perspective. Then you'll be able to build something strong. Praise God. God is love. Somebody shout amen. 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 So it's just a summary of love. Now let's go to marriage. Let's talk about marriage. Marriage is an institution ordained by God. Genesis chapter 2. You can see from verses 18 to 25. God said it's not good for man to be alone. And I will find him a partner that is comparable to him. So marriage is God's idea. It's never man's idea. It was never your idea or my idea. It was God that brought the idea of marriage. Praise God. So it is an institution where character is properly developed. Marriage is an institution 
where character is properly developed. You might think you are okay being single, but when you go into marriage, that is when you will know. And some of the thing is, uh, if you are full of pride, uh, that's when it will show. Hello viewers, thank you for tuning in today. I believe the word you've heard today has really blessed you. And I can guarantee you that your life will not be the same anymore because the word of God is active and very, very powerful. In this month of February, I am going to pray for you because God spoke to me and he mentioned that this month is a month of unprecedented favor, which means God's favor will surround you in all that you do this month. And I want you to keep tuning in every Saturday, half eight in the morning, your life will not be the same. There's going to be a great release of the prophetic word, of the word of knowledge, revelational teaching, word that will change your life. Now, for those of you that would like to give your life to Jesus or rededicate yourself, I want you to say this after me. Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins before you and know I am a sinner. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me my sins and write my name in the book of life. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe that you died and resurrected. I believe in you as my Lord and my Savior and as a son of God. This day, I give myself to you once again, and I pray, Lord, give me the grace to make it to the end. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for these ones that have accepted you into their hearts, into their lives, to their families. I pray, Lord, that you will have mercy upon them and forgive them, write their name in the book of life and give them the grace to make this to the end. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome to the family of God. And I bet you there's a, a, a lot of party going on in heaven and there's a rejoicing because for every one person that comes into God's family, there's always rejoicing. Angels always celebrate. Welcome, and I pray God will give you grace to be able to make it through to the end. I'd like to appreciate every one of you that have been supporting me to put me on the television. Through this television, we're, about, we're able to reach thousands of people, millions of people across the nations of the world. And I want to thank you, and I want you to know this, that we are praying for you. Um, and God will keep blessing you. And for those of you that would like to join us, to partner, to support us, keep supporting us so we can keep expanding and enlarging. The information has, has been displayed on the screen right now. You can um, send us a check. You can, as the Lord leads you, you can just support the, to keep us in the air. And we will get in touch with you and send you our, uh, our messages, our CDs, and pray for you. And then from time to time, I do have a meeting with all my partners, and then I could invite you. When I come around your area, I could schedule a meeting to be able to meet with you and pray with you on anything bothering your mind. So, and as you support us, God will keep blessing you. Every seed you sow is gonna to be towards the propagation of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you, support us to keep us in the air. God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, I'm gonna pray for you because I have this strong unction on me, strong anointing, that when I pray for people, things happen. And God assured me that any matter I present before Him, He will always show up. And I'm gonna pray, first of all, I'm gonna pray for somebody believing God for the fruit of the womb. I've come to declare that get ready, go and buy all your baby stuff because your baby is gonna come this year. Within the next one year, you would have your baby in your hands. I prophesy as God's servant that your womb has become fruitful. I rebuke that fibroid. Someone is struggling with fibroid. I rebuke that fibroid in the name of Jesus. Every blocked fallopian tube open up now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare cancer, every cancer in your womb, I cast it out. There is power in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon his shoulders and by his stripes we are healed. He sent forth his word and healed them and saved them from their destructions. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I release the word of God upon your health, 
upon your body, your bones, your muscles. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. We're going to check your body. The healing power of God is touching you. There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Your eyesight is restored. Your ears are open. Your mind is renewed. Every emotional heart receives healings in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for as many that are being hindered through immigration challenge. I declare breakthrough today. Uncommon favor will be a portion. Receive that immigration breakthrough. Every barrier is lifted up now. In Jesus' name, I declare, receive that breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Your papers are blessed. Your case handler will deal with it with favor. Favor will speak for you in Jesus' name. Those believing God for a job, unemployment, those believing you for a promotion, Lord, answer their prayers. I declare, receive that miracle job, that dream job is coming your way this week in Jesus' name. Receive that promotion in your place of work. Probably there's so much tension around you in your place of work and it seems like you're not getting promoted. I speak as God's servant in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that favor. You will find favor before all those that matters in your organization. Starting from today, everything about you begins to change. You walk in this unprecedented favor. I declare peace into your home. No more fighting, no more misunderstanding. Yourself and your spouse, you will be able to communicate. I release peace upon your children. I release peace upon your spiritual life. I say be blessed in your career as a student. I speak excellence. You will do well in all your studies. I pray for long life and prosperity. The Lord bless every one of you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. God bless you. See you again next week. Send us your testimony. The email is just showing on the TV screen now. Pick up your phone call. You can call me straight away. If you call me today, I'll send it today's CD to you. Be in touch. The Lord bless you. Stay connected. I'm Reverend Chibuzo Ezekiel. God bless.